Kalani, I need you to transfer 10k to my bank account right now. What's going on, Mom? Is there something wrong with the nail salon? Did something happen? No, nothing's wrong with the salon. It's going well, especially during this Christmas and holiday season. I think it's going to get even better and busier as Christmas Day approaches. People love to get their nails done for the festive occasion. So why do you suddenly need that much money? I remember that I gave you the allowance for this month about a week ago. Don't tell me that you spent it all already. Well, not exactly. Actually, that money's not for me. It's for George. For George? Why does my stepbrother need 10k? Did he get into trouble or something? Did he gamble it away or owe it to someone? No, don't say that about my son. He's a good boy. He's changed his ways and he's trying to make something of himself. Your son? <laughs> That's funny. Let me remind you, Mom. George is the son of your second husband, and he was kicked out of the university because of the threat of violence. He's no good at all. He's a troublemaker and a loser. Tell me why I have to send my hard-earned money to a person like him for free. We don't even share the same blood. Kalani, no matter what you say, he's still your brother. Your family, and family should help each other out. Everybody makes mistakes. And so does my son. But now he's a good person. He's found a nice girl and he loves her very much. So what? What does that have to do with anything? Well, George is going on vacation with his girlfriend next week. He's going to propose to her. He wants to make her happy and give her the best experience ever. So I want to make sure everything will be perfect for them. Therefore, I need you to pay for their whole trip. Now I just need 10k, but I'll tell you when I need more. What? Are you kidding me? Why should I pay for that stupid trip? If he wants a romantic and luxurious vacation, he should work for it himself. I don't care what he does, and I'll never give him any of my money. It's none of my business. You have no choice. I'm your mother, and you have to do whatever I tell you. You owe me everything, and you should be grateful that I'm asking for so little. Even if that thing is ridiculous? Mom, I'm your only child, not him. How can you force your daughter to give her money to a total stranger? How can you be so unfair and unreasonable? No way I'll pay for his trip. Not a single penny. Oh, you're so stubborn, Kalani. Don't you forget that your stepfather raised you and gave you a place to live when you were younger? He treated you like his own daughter, even though you weren't. Now that you're grown up, you have to pay him back. And this is a chance for you to show how grateful you are to him by paying for his son's trip. You're being so ridiculous, Mom. If I want to show thanks to him, I'll book a flight for him, not his son. Besides, I think I did pay him back already. I let you manage my nail salon, and that's definitely more money than he spent on me the whole time. Well, it's just a small salon. You're making it sound like a fortune. Yes, it is a fortune. Do you know how hard I worked at that nail salon? How many hours I spent there every day? How many customers I served with a smile? You and your new family are earning a living from my salon. Without it, I bet you won't be able to survive in this city. Jeez, I gave birth to you, so I deserve it. You gave birth to me, but have you ever treated me as your daughter? Or am I just a mistake you made when you were young? Yes, I regret having you. You ruined my life. Your father dumped me because of you. Do you really think he left you because of me? Of course he did. He was supposed to be my husband after I got pregnant with you. But he didn't want a child. He didn't want to be tied down. That's why he disappeared and left me alone when I went into labor. You appeared at the wrong time, Kalani. If it weren't for you, I would have been married to him. Mom, how can you even blame me for your failed relationship with my father? It's not my fault that he didn't love you enough to stay with you. Why did you still keep me, though? Why didn't you just give me up for adoption or something? You know what? I should have done that, but I didn't. Instead, I brought you to my new family, gave you a home, and fed you. I tried to be a good mother to you, but look how ungrateful you are. You don't appreciate anything I do for you. You don't respect me, your stepfather, or your brother. You're selfish and spoiled. I just asked for only $2,000, and you make such a big fuss about it. Why don't you shut your mouth and be a good daughter by giving me the money? I give you monthly allowances, Mom, don't you remember? I thought maybe those allowances would make you love me more, but 
but I was wrong. The only thing you care about is your new husband and new son. Since I got into university, you've only been contacting me when you need money or something. I'm glad that you know your position and duties. Yeah, I realize that you won't ever change for me, so I will. I'll change for the sake of myself. Good for you. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. Just give me what I need whenever I want. Send me 10k by the end of this week or else. Or what? What are you going to do? Will you kick me out of the house? <laughs> what a cliche. When I was young, you used to threaten to kick me out of your house whenever I refused to obey you. Remember that time when I didn't give you the money I saved for college? It was New Year's Eve, right? It was cold outside, but you still threw me out. I had to beg you for hours until you let me in. But mom, I'm not a kid anymore. Well, I guess I have to change the method to make you obedient again. I won't be affected. I'm not afraid of you. You should be, honey. How's your job recently? Why do you ask me that question? Nothing. I just want to know more about my daughter. I know you're earning a lot as a creator or influencer or something on social media. And you've got quite a lot of followers, huh? What if they know you don't have a father and you got stoned and high all the time when you were in your sophomore year? What? That's not true. I didn't ever get stoned. That was George. And I was the person who caught him smoking pot in college, remember? Hadn't I told you he'd be in prison now? How come you say it was me? No one will believe that story. Well, they'll believe me anyway, because that's how social media works. Rumors can be easily spread through and severely ruin your reputation. Also, they'll trust all the words from your mother. So if you don't want to get your career destroyed, do what I said. Oh, wow. Is that how this is going to work now? You're just going to order me around all the time, or else you'll be bad-mouthing me all over the internet? Is that your plan, mother? That's right. It's up to you. What the heck did I do so wrong that my own mother wants to ruin my life? It's your birth that was wrong. Uh-oh. I've got a lot of things to do to prepare for my son's proposal. Enough chatting time. Remember to transfer the money I requested, Kalani. You don't want to lose everything right before the new year, right? I know you're now wiser than you were on that Christmas Eve. Yes, I am. I'll do the right thing. You don't have to worry about this, Mom. I'll give you what you want as an early Christmas gift. Oh, good girl. Life will be easier if you know how to be obedient, sweetheart. <laughs> Hey, Kailani, how are you doing? I hope you're well and happy. What's up, George? I'm so surprised to receive your message. It's been a long time since we last talked. What do you want from me? I bet there's nothing good, huh? Come on, you're my little sister. I just want to check on you and see how you're doing. You know I care about you, right? Wow, that's so touching, brother. Ugh. I remember that last time we talked is when I was still living at your house. Maybe five or six years ago, I guess. You were so rude and mean to me back then. Why do you suddenly want to check on me after such a long time? Do you need something from me? Fine. Actually, I just want to check whether you heard about my vacation next week or not. Mom texted you this morning, didn't she? Yes. Mom just told me about your ridiculously expensive vacation this morning. She said you're going to Hawaii for two weeks with your girlfriend. She also said that you need some money for that. Is that why you're calling me? Then I guess you know how much I need for that. Very good. You better send it ass up. I don't want to miss this opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime chance. What are you thinking? There's no way I'll give you my money. $10,000 just for a stupid vacation? That's crazy. You're wasting your money on something that won't last. You should save it for something more important, like paying your rent or buying food. What? Are you going to decline your mom's request? She asked you nicely to help me out. She said it's your duty as my sister to support me. Of course. You're out of your mind, George. I can't believe you still ask your family for money. You're a grown-up, not a child, okay? Don't you feel ashamed for asking your parents for money? Not at all. I'm their only son. I just take whatever I deserve. They owe me everything for being their child. They should be grateful that I'm still talking to them. You said what you deserve, but the fact is, you're asking for my money. That's even more ridiculous. Because you and me, we don't share the same blood. 
It's not my duty to pay for your holiday or anything. You're not my family. You should know that. Well, obviously, you're better off now. So why should I feel ashamed of taking your money? You owe my dad a great debt of thanks for letting you live at our house while you had nowhere to go. Without us, you'd be no more than a stray cat. No home, no food, no parents. <laughs> now you should pay for it instead of denying it, Kailani. Your mom didn't teach you how to show more gratitude, did she? Who are you talking about? Me? Do you not know how to show gratitude? Wow, so interesting. Let me tell you something, George. If I didn't show my gratitude, I wouldn't have let them manage and take all the profit from my nail salon. That's the only reason why they can afford to live in a decent house and send you money every month. Besides, I only lived at your house for three years. I stopped receiving any support from your family when I got into college. I worked my ass off to pay my bills and tuition. I'm independent, not like you. Kailani, what you did is not going to change the fact that you owe us your life. You're going to support us for the rest of your life. That's the least you can do for us after everything we've done for you. I don't see why I need to financially support you or your father. You're both adults who can work and earn your own money. You're both lazy and irresponsible who don't care about anyone but yourselves. Because your mother is living with us, she depends on us for everything. So? Come on, Kailani. Don't act as if you don't understand. Because I know you care a lot about your mom. She gave birth to you, so you'll have to support her. Of course I do. I also give her an allowance every month. That's enough for her to go shopping or enjoy her life. But that's not related to having to pay for your vacation. Okay, here's the thing. I know she's your only family. And how hard you're trying to hold time to make her love you more. You know, you always try to give her what she wants. Money, presents, clothes, stuff. Everything you think she'll like. As you're a stray cat, you always want more attention from her. You're right. That's how I show my love for her. But it's ironic that no matter what I do, she still likes you more than me. I don't know why. I'm her daughter, aren't I? Well, I don't want to get into the relationship between you two. What I mean is, she's on my side. If I say I want something, she'll get it for me at any cost. Luckily, you're the good daughter who's willing to satisfy her. And you're earning a fortune from your influence, her job, and businesses. So no doubt, you'll end up paying for my vacation with my girlfriend. <laughs> Are you taking advantage of my mother? Do you even love her? Yes, of course, I love her. And I love her money even more. On second thought, you don't have to transfer the money to mom. Just send it directly to me. I'll take care of it from now on as it's my trip anyway. What if I say no? No? There's no way you'll say no to your mom. But just in case, I have plans to make you agree. What are you going to do? Tell everyone that I used to get stoned? Well, in fact, it was you. So you know my plan, huh? I have to say that I'm kind of proud of that idea. But how did you know? Mom did use your idea to threaten me this morning. But you know what? Your plan is not going to happen. I didn't do that, so no need to be afraid. What a strong girl. Bad news is, you won't be able to handle the rumor once it's public, whether it's true or not. I'll send you my bank account number. Transfer the money or you'll regret it, Kailani. Kailani, it's Sunday. Why haven't you transferred the money? Good evening, Mom. I don't know what you're talking about. What money? I'm talking about the 10K for your brother's vacation. I told you about it a few days ago. You didn't forget it, did you? Oh, that money. Now I remember. But Mom, I've never promised to pay for this vacation. What? Kalani, don't play dumb with me. No, I'm not. I'm really serious now. Did you forget what I told you before? Send the money right away or I'll publish the news about you. The famous influencer who got stoned in high school. I told you that I would never give him any of my money. Do you really think I'll be convinced by that fake news you made up about me? Let me make it clear one more time. No matter what you and your son badmouth about me to threaten me, I neither change my mind nor support him with any money. Are you sure? Do you really want to lose your career? As I told you before, I'm not afraid of rumors, especially fake ones. 
I once handled something like that. No big deal, actually. Kalani, what's the matter with you? Just $10,000. Not much compared to your earnings. I'm totally fine. And you're right. I have enough money to pay for an even more luxurious vacation. I just don't want to waste my money on trash like George. See, I know you have that money. Honey, let's not argue about this stuff, okay? All you need to do is send me the money. Then everything is fine. You'll be a good girl, as always. No, Mom. Everything between us is not okay. I thought you would love me and care about me more if I gave you whatever you wanted. But the truth is, you only care about how much money I can give you. You only care about your new family. Do you even love me, Mom? What if I'm broke? Will you throw me away? Ugh, I don't want to talk about this right now. But yes, I regret having you, Kalani. You made the younger me miserable for a long time until I met my new husband. The only reason I still meet you is that I want to take allowances from you. Do you think I'll keep in contact with you if you have no money? There's no way. Okay, I got it. I could guess how much you loved me, but the fact that you answered the question by yourself really opened my eyes. I mean nothing to you. You only love George. I just can't understand why you could do everything for him, even though he's not your child. He's my new family and my future. I just want to make sure I'm investing in the right person. After all, he'll be taking care of me when I'm older. How can he take good care of you if he's still asking you for money? Does he even have a job? He's working on his career in acting. He'll be a famous actor soon and earn more money than a tiny influencer like you. Good for you. If your son is that good, then I guess I can stop supporting you now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Stop supporting me? You want to cut off my allowance? Not only your allowances, but also the nail salon. I'm getting it back. No way you will do that. You were too busy to manage the nail salon from another state. Therefore, you asked us to take care of it. I can tell you'll fail at running it. You better let us have it. Don't worry, Mom. I have people for that. I'll hire someone to manage it, or maybe I'll sell it. You know I have plans for it. And tell your son to give up the idea of badmouthing me on social media. I don't mind suing and sending him to prison. He should know that I have very good lawyers to handle it. Wait, Kalani, what's wrong with you? You know that the three of us are depending on the nail salon, right? And the allowances! How can I live without the nail salon and your money? For Christ's sake, Kalani, I just asked for a little bit of money. But look at what you're doing to your mother! You want to leave your mother with nothing? How dare you do that to me? The one who gave you life? Stop it, Mom. I'm sick of you. I know you too well. Every time you want to get something from me, you'll either shout or start to cry. I won't fall for your emotional manipulation again. At least you have to give me 10K. You said you would give me what I want as an early Christmas gift, remember? Yes, I will. I'll give you a life without me or my money, Mom. Do you like it? You're such a witch, Kalani. I can't believe that I have a daughter like you. Ugh, no way. I'm not letting you get away with that. There's nothing you can do, Mom. I'm not going to turn back. If I have to choose between a mom who doesn't love me and being an orphan, I'll pick the latter. My son will make you regret this. He knows how to ruin your reputation and your career. Go ahead, but you'd better not let him meet me in front of the court because of his stupid behavior like defaming me on social media. Because I'll definitely make him pay for it. I should have left you in an orphanage before I got married. You really pissed me off. Well, now I don't owe you anything. Thanks for letting me know I was wasting my effort on a bad mother like you, so that I could give up soon. I feel so relieved. Goodbye, Mom. Jasmine's life took a tragic and miserable turn after she lost everything she had. Her money, her nail salon, her son, and her husband were all gone. To make matters worse, she discovered that her husband had been cheating on her with another woman, and that he wanted to divorce her and take half of her assets. She was left alone and broke, with no one to help or love her. She regretted how she treated me, but it was too late to make amends.
George's dreams of becoming an actor were shattered when he was exposed as a fraud and a liar. He lost his girlfriend, who rejected his proposal and dumped him for someone else. He also faced legal consequences for his actions, such as defaming me and smoking pot. He ended up in debt, with no one to bail him out or lend him money. As for me, I was happy because I was able to cut off ties with my abusive mother and brother and focus on my own life and career. I kept my nail salon and my influence and expanded my business and started a new project. I also found a romantic partner who loved and supported me for who I was, not for what I had. I was able to heal from my past trauma and enjoy my freedom and happiness.